I want to get back to President Trump's trillion dollar infrastructure plans. Anthony Fox joins us now. He's a former Secretary of Transportation. Anthony, welcome back to the show. Good to see you again. Thank you, Stuart. Good to talk to you. I got this question. Now, you want to spend the money wisely, and there's a lot of money to be spent. You know what's going to happen. Congressmen are going to take that money, go back to the home districts and say, hey, I'll build that bridge to nowhere. I'll build that footpath and put my name on it. And you can't stop that. I know you want to stop that, but you can't stop it. <laughs> well, that is one of, the, uh, one of the challenges of infrastructure in America is to get the political support to get packages passed. There's always a risk that uh, there are projects that uh, may not be optimal projects, but are useful to get the political support. And that's an old story in American uh, transportation it's not gonna, politics. It's not going to change, is it, Anthony? I mean, it's not going to change. Well, I think, I think one of the, to his credit, one of the things I think the president has done uh, that I think uh, should be commended is to reach out to governors across the country and to say which projects are the highest on your priority list. Uh, I think he could reach down lower to mayors and to regional leaders to get their lists as well. But I think starting from the standpoint of where the local and state communities believe their needs are is a good starting point. Um, you think it's going to make that much difference, Anthony? Well, look, I think there are bigger problems here. The first is how do you pay for a trillion dollar package and will yeah. a tax credit as has been proposed actually correlate to getting the projects that are most needed across the country done there are an awful lot of just straight up bridge projects potholes that need to be filled that don't lend themselves to private investment so i think that's one fundamental challenge and of course you point out the other one which is to make sure the projects that get funded are the ones that are needed uh, how about this rolling back of the fuel emission, uh, the fuel, the mileage, the gasoline mileage standards that uh, President Obama brought in late in his term? We hear that the president will roll them back, go back to where we where we were, essentially no new standards. Now, doesn't that give us a problem for California? Because they've got higher standards, mm -hmm. uh, gas mileage standards. I can see the point where you can't drive your car in California because it doesn't meet their gas mileage standards. Can you see that coming? Well, conformity is certainly going to be a challenge because California in so many ways has led, led the way on environmental protections and fuel efficiency. And the standards that were developed at a national level were done in conjunction with California so that, that everyone would be moving in the same direction. Uh, I do think there will be some challenges, uh, legal challenges and other ones, as a result of the actions the administration appears to be taking. Uh, sum it all up for me, will you? Do you think that things will really change this time? <laughs> I mean, you, I, mean I, I know you're laughing, uh, and I don't want to be a skeptic or a cynic. Yeah. But, you know, I've seen this movie before. I've seen huge, multi-billion dollar plans, and it always goes down the same rat hole. You know, individual congressmen spending on nothing. Well, look, I, you know, the president holds all the cards here. He's got the House. He's got the Senate. And uh, there, I frankly think that having presidential leadership on the issue of infrastructure is important. But I agree that there's going to have to be very careful attention given to the projects that actually get funded and making sure that those projects have a high level of, of return to the public in terms of easing congestion and improving quality of life. Get stuck in, Anthony Fox. <laughs> we want to see some real change here. You know, no more pork. Can we do that? <laughs> I know I'm putting you on try. the spot. I know yeah. I'm putting you on the spot, but you know well, where we're all coming from. You know. Absolutely, absolutely. Okay, thank you very much. Anthony thank Fox, you. we'll see Stuart, you again soon. Appreciate it. Thank you, thank sir. You.